Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well and welcome to all my new members and subscribers. What I've got in the shop here today is a Troy built lawn tractor behind me here. Now this machine here, apparently it's been extremely hard to start since day one, since the day it was bought. I've touched on this subject before, but I will touch on it again today to show you how to fix this. It's really easy and all you got to do is buy a screwdriver to fix this. So here it is, Troy built, made by MTD. You will find the same engine on some Cub Cadet lawn tractors as well. Now if I pop the hood open, you will see a Kohler engine. Nowadays though, you will see a Power More engine. They don't have the issue that I will show you today. So I'm going to get on the machine here. I will put the choke on, turn it over, and here's what the machine does. Now if I pop open the air filter and throw in some gas in the carburetor, it will start and run perfectly. So what's going on guys, is when I turn the choke on, it's actually not on. So on this machine here, when you push the throttle all the way up, the choke is supposed to be on. Now to fix this, I'll just take the hood off first so you can see better. You don't necessarily have to take anything apart to fix this. Now to get the hood off, just basically tilt it like this and lift it all the way up. And what I'll do here is make sure that the lever is all the way up to simulate the choke being on. So here's the throttle cable here. And again, the throttle and the choke are all riding on this one cable. And when I have the choke in the on position, it retracts this part here toward the cable, the sheath, the sheathing of the cable. So we'll bring it all the way here. And what it's supposed to do to get the choke on is move this thing all the way up. And it's not. The choke is supposed to be on, but it's actually not on because this lever here should be up here. So that's quite a bit of play there. So let's say that I hold this by hand here manually and turn the key, it will start. I'll show you that right now, I'll stop it right away and I'll show you the proper repair for this. Okay, so to be able to start it without sitting on it, I've put the parking brake on. Now I'm holding that lever up. And as you saw there, it started up right away. So here's what you need to do guys to fix this problem permanently, is you need to get a T25 Torx screwdriver, loosen this little screw here, pull the cable back a little bit, and it will make the choke go on when you have the lever all the way up on the console. Now I thought I could reach in with a screwdriver here, but unfortunately it's kind of awkward so I'm going to get a small ratchet with a Torx bit. So I've got the throttle all the way up in the choke position here while I do the adjustment. Okay, here's how you do this. Loosen that screw a bit here. Take note of where your cable is at. So what I'm going to do now is pull that cable until this choke lever here is all the way there. So I just got to bring it up just a little bit more right here. So I got about one eighth play there. You don't want to go too crazy on the cable. You just want to do it just enough there. So now what I'll do is play with the throttle lever and the choke here. Just a little bit of play, but I don't think that matters. So what I'll do here is I'll try it with the setting that I have it on.
Now the reason why I tried it right away is not just to make sure that the choke is going on but also that the throttle works properly as well because when you have the choke on and you come back a bit there's like a notch you can feel here when the choke just comes off and the throttles that wide open it all seems to work pretty good i'll give it one more shot here to make sure i've got it adjusted right they're a bit stiff these throttle controls by the way So I'm pretty happy with that. If you don't have the little ratchet with the T25 Torx bit, you can just take off the two 3 8 bolts right here on each side and this plate should come off and then you'll have room to go with your screwdriver. It was just easier for me to use the small ratchet with the Torx bit for today. Anyway, here's one last look here. When you apply the choke on this machine, and on all these Kohler Courage two-cylinder engines, if they have a choke, this lever should be all the way up like this when the choke is engaged. If it's not up, then you'll need to adjust the cable. Again, what I did is I loosened this screw and pulled the cable back. If your choke was staying on too much, then you would do the opposite. You would loosen the screw and push the cable forward. Now this mistake is common. I see it a lot on Briggs and Stratton engines as well and I have made a video on that with the Briggs engine but I don't see it as often on the Kohler engines. Again, if you have this engine on any machine, not just the Troy built and it's a hard start, check the cable to make sure that your choke is actually on when you think it is on. So I'll try it one more time. Choke fully on. Anyway, I hope the video has helped you out guys. So remember, if you have a Kohler engine and a Briggs engine, you may run into this problem straight out of the box or brand new from the store, I mean. It's a common issue, I guess. The quality control is not always the best at these factories. It's not a big problem, guys. Like I said, the most expensive thing you may have to get to fix this is the actual Torx screwdriver. It is a Torx T25 on this one here. If you liked the video, please like it and share it with your friends and make sure you are subscribed. Have a great day.